<laughs> That's the problem with hats, you can never find the right hat. But I've invented a hat. Ooh. Well, later I invented the hat, the everlasting hat. And here it is. Thank you. Two hundred pounds, that's a bargain. One or uh, one nine, one hundred ninety-five if you're at a discount. Look, it's it's this is an amazing hat, and I thank you for volunteering to demonstrate it. Look, let me just show you. So imagine you're going to a party. Little party hat. <laughs> this is brilliant. Now it's a garden party. You're outside visiting the Queen. Yeah. And uh, it's, you know, it's very sunny, so what you need is a sun hat, but look, it automatically expands to a sun hat. It's just, just amazing, isn't it? I mean, and maybe I'll just, you know, and, and it's, you know, you can do, maybe yellow isn't your uh, colour. It makes you look pale. It does make you look pale, a little, little washed out, you know. Uh, but don't worry, look, if it starts to rain, you've got a rain hat here. Isn't that just amazing? I can see you're, you're really, uh, oops, look at that. Just to really, I think that really suits you. Maybe you know the sort of Nelson or uh, yeah, the sort of Wellington look, you know. But you know what? This is this is a hat for all seasons. So imagine, are you working at the minute? I oh, am. Yeah. Uh, which profession are you? I'm uh, working in pharmacy. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, imagine if you gave that up and became a, a deep sea fisherman. You know. You know, you could. Yes, you would. What you need is a fisherman's hat here. And I think, I think, I think that would really suit you. Know, but the thing is, Tony, is I wouldn't recommend deep sea fishing because it might make you feel a little bit sick, <laughs> a little bit seasick. Don't, don't you think? And uh, round of applause for Tony for being such a good.